How y'all doing? It's Purple Haze. I'm back with the genu general, <laughs> genuine and general <laughs> reading for you guys. Um, an extended reading and also you and your person, all signs. Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. And thank you, ancestors, for all that you do and all that you will do. For every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me as well as the Scorpios, the people I'm doing this reading for. Sending a lot of positive energy towards you guys, Scorpio. We have the Justice card here. Okay. Right. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the World card in reverse. Okay, let's do another one. Let's see. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, Scorpio, sometimes um, you guys may have a habit of, this is this is um, about the, what's going on with you guys right now, okay? Maybe there there's a chance that you guys feel as though you know that you're old what's coming to you. You know that you deserve the best and you know that you deserve a lot of it right now. You know that you deserve all of the things. That's how you truly feel deep down inside. But there's another side of you that feels as though, you know, you don't want to focus on it too much right now. Maybe you've been disappointed so many times. It could be a situation where somebody promised you something. So it seems, it seems as though it stems from a broken promise. And um, somebody promised you something or they you, you've counted on them for something or you had high expectations of this particular person or this particular job, whatever the case may be. Um, you had high expectations of it. But for some reason, they've let you down to the point where now you just feel like you no longer care as much as you used to with the with the world card here in reverse which is why i said there's a lot of um broken promises or trust issues you just felt like you were misled in the situation with the knight of pentacles here in reverse it's like on the outside you're trying to fake the funk as if you're doing okay um you wear this mask um not the mask that we have to wear i mean like in general <laughs> like symbolically you're wearing the mask that kind of you're trying to cover up how you truly feel inside, okay? So, how you look on the outside does not match how you actually feel on the inside. You're kind of putting on this fake facade for some reason. Let's move on to the next spread to see exactly what's going on. To get more clarity of the message, okay? Yeah, we need more clarity when it comes to this here, okay? Let's see what else is going on, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. You have the hanged woman here. Okay. Let's see. You have the six of cups. Hmm. So, yeah, there's a lot of frustration so far with you, Scorpio. Um, You feel like you're being held back. You feel like you have so much that you could be doing right now, that you're after right now, but you just feel held back. And maybe you're held back, Scorpio, because of how your attitude is towards things. Like, just because you know that you feel you're deserving of these blessings, these abundance, this this beautiful outcome, yeah, you are deserving of it, but at the same time, you're, the way you think and, the, and some of your actions is kind of what's holding you back. But remember that it's not necessarily just you either. There's a reason why you feel this way. It's because of the people that you had around you. It's kind of hard to keep your hopes up when you're surrounded by people who's always breaking promises, always lying, always saying it's one thing when it's another. And then with the Six of Cups here, you're still thinking about something in the past or a situation um, that dealt with someone from your past. Somebody you could have been with for a very long time, for years. Or it could be somebody that you've grown up with. Um... But this is the person that in particular that you probably feel as though let you down and you're still kind of thinking about it. Maybe that's another thing that's holding you back as well. Okay, Scorpios, but let's keep it going. The full card here. Is it two cards? Okay, it's only one. The full card here. Um, at the end of the day, 
You just want to be, you don't want to think about these things. It's like your brain or your, your, not your brain. It's like your thoughts and your mental, you feel like a slave to it. What I mean by that is you want to break free from these thoughts. You're tired of thinking about this particular person or this particular incident. You just want to break free as much as possible. You probably want a, a different start, a new start. Um, yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles here, that's you want a new start. You want, um, not, it doesn't mean a new start strictly about love, so to speak, or relationships. In general, you, you just want to start something new. You probably want a new path when it comes to your, your job, when it comes to your finances. Um, you just want everything to be new around you so that you can create a, a solid foundation mm -hmm. so that you could, maybe you feel like that will help you believe in yourself. But because you lack a lot in your life as far as maybe the physical things, the material things, because you lack these things, is why you feel like you're not complete. And it's why sometimes you don't believe in yourself, okay? Let's move on to the Energy Oracle cards here. We're going to see what is the overall energy, Scorpio. Um, we're going to touch on the overall energy for right now. The overall energy for what's upcoming you what's uh, what's coming towards you okay and the type of energy that you wish to seek for yourself like the type of energy that you are manifesting is what i'm trying to say so first one we're going to see what is the energy surrounding you now what is the energy surrounding you now oh you see how that just landed in my hand the seven chakra archangel ariel in uh in reverse so let's start here first. So right now, um, it could be two things. You either feel as if, oh, you either feel as if there's a a blockage when it comes to um, believing in yourself. Like I said before, you feel like a lot of the things that you want often, Scorpio, is unrealistic. Um, sometimes you feel as though you go against your intuition, which is uh, not a good thing, Scorpios. You guys are usually intuitive, but sometimes you kind of doubt yourself um, when it comes to things that are meant. For you this is the energy surrounding you guys right now so let's touch on the energy as far as um the beginning of december okay the beginning to mid-december sorry the sun card in reverse so the beginning to mid um of december it seems like you're still going to be in that mode um that dark place sometimes not permanently but you're all going to be in that dark space again because again you're going to be disappointed you feel as though Things are just not looking up around you. It, maybe it could be something simple as you feel like things are dull right now. You're bored. You feel like your life isn't isn't as exciting as you would want it to be. Okay? So now, let's see. Just over here real fast. Now let's touch on the type of energy that you're manifesting. Okay? The energy that you're bringing towards you. Let me get that because it failed. Okay? Okay. The healer of the ages in reverse so hmm that kind of sucks so the energy that's coming towards you and that you're somewhat manifesting is you probably are going to be overworking yourself uh, feeling drained so to speak you're going to have a lot on your brain or you're going to be doing a lot physically so i would say if that's what you feel like you want to do keep yourself busy don't um drain yourself and don't put too much on your back because you don't want to drain yourself out to the point where you're not going to enjoy the fruits of your labor, so to speak. Okay. Now, let's do one more thing. Then we're going to move on to um, you and your person, all signs. But first, we're going to touch on what's the outcome of this situation as far as you feeling as though things are holding you back. Like, what is what is the um, outcome of this situation? And why are you holding yourself back? Or what is holding yourself back? We're just going to touch on exactly more information as far as that. Okay. Okay. Come on now. What we got? Oh, three cards. Lovely. Made that easy for me. We have the Queen of Cups. My bad. The Queen of Cups in reverse. The Three of Cups in reverse. And the tower card. Damn, Scorpio. It seems as if you're going to reach your breaking point, Scorpio. Um, Let me just get into it. With the Queen of 
cups here in reverse. It seems like you kind of let your, your emotions get the best of you, meaning that you were wearing your heart on your sleeve, so to speak. So there was a situation where you felt as though you, you felt vulnerable, right? You're probably feeling very vulnerable and you probably were venting to someone, probably to someone you shouldn't have. Well, that, that's not necessarily the case, but there could be a chance where you were venting or being vulnerable to someone that you should not have been because the outcome didn't come the way you want it to be. And then with the Three of Cups here in reverse, like I said, you probably were surrounding yourself around people who you felt like you could vent to and open up to, but you you didn't hear uh, what you wanted to hear or the results wasn't what you expected. So like I said in the, in the previous cards, it's someone who disappointed you or who's going to disappoint you, okay? And you felt like you're disappointed because you told them the truth. You expressed yourself and it took a lot for you to do that only for them to disappoint you with the tarot card here, which is why I say you reached a breaking point because it seems as if this particular situation is going to be the end of it. You're going to feel like, you know what, that's it. I'm fed up and I'm tired of feeling this way. I'm tired of trying to, I'm tired of counting on people who I feel like are there for me and they're not. I'm tired of venting to people who don't necessarily care enough. And it's like you're going to either say these things to these people or it's just going to get to the point where you're going to feel like I'm tired. Like, even if you have this breakdown this breakdown alone, um, you're going to feel like you're just tired of being disappointed, okay? And you're going to express that this was whatever that's going on or what's coming your way is going to be your breaking point. And you're going to feel like that this was the last straw. And you're going to take this situation and, and um, benefit from it, so to speak. It's just sad that it had to take all of this for it to happen, okay? Now let's move on to you and your person, all signs. Let me put all this away. But you and your person, um, all signs. And we want to start off with Scorpio and Scorpio and work our way, okay. you know, down. Now we're going to just use the Oracle cards here. Shuffle these up really good and start off with um, Scorpio and Scorpio. What is the surrounding energy for you guys um, as far as what's coming up? For the beginning to mid-December, what's the energy for you guys with that? Scorpio and Scorpio. Come on now. Well, damn. What do we have here? Hold on. We have Cornucopia. These fell out first. Cornucopia in reverse. And then we have the Victory card here in reverse. Hmm. So, Scorpio and Scorpio. Um, it seems as if you were disappointed when it came to this person. You had high expectations with this person, but for some reason, things are being delayed right now. They're not going as smoothly as you wanted it to be. You had high hopes. You probably thought the world of this person. You probably thought they were the one. Probably because you figured you guys had so much in common and you guys are both Scorpios. Um, and then with the victory card here in reverse, like I said, maybe this person um is not who you thought they were. They're not as goal-oriented as you are. Or maybe your heads are at a different space. Maybe you were feeling this person more than they were feeling you. Whatever the case may be, it did not work out, okay? Or it's not going to work out because the the high expect expectations you had for this person just you were you were extremely disappointed. So whoever this person is, Scorpio and Scorpio, that's major disappointment between you two. Let's do Scorpio and Sagittarius. Um, what's the upcoming energy for you guys for the beginning to mid December? Be ready. We have the woman holding a coin, and we have the victory card. Okay, so Sag um, Scorpio and Sagittarius. These are some good cards, good energy. So you are feeling good about yourself. This person makes you feel worthy. This person makes you feel good. They probably have you on this high pedestal. Okay. Um. Yeah, you guys are about your coin. They motivate you to keep your coin, okay? Um, or this could or this could represent somebody who you're probably not taking seriously. If you're single, it could be someone who you're not taking serious at the moment, but you guys are teaching each other things when it comes to finances. And with the victory card here, there's a lot of high hopes for you guys. Things are going really well. Um, you seem to be a good match, and you both seem to attract a lot of blessings. And when you're around each other, there's like this this big glow. You guys probably uh, appear as though you have a lot of money together. Like, when people see you in pictures or something, they probably think that you two have money. But you just come off as rich and wealthy and happy when it comes to the public eye, okay? 
Let's move on to Scorpio and Capricorn. Scorpio and Capricorn, what is the energy coming towards you guys from the beginning to mid December? Beginning to mid December, what we got? The Magician in the Mirror, the Strategy card here, the Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. So there's a lot of clarity. There's a lot of um magic happening between you two. You probably didn't expect to be together. Or it probably happened out of nowhere as far as you two coming together. Um, but now that you two are together, you guys you guys have this plan or you guys talk about your goals and your plan. And it seems to just go very smoothly. Um, maybe, maybe the both of you are creating these plans and you're going, like I said before, you're handling them very smoothly. Whether it's separately or together. And there's a lot of clarity between you two. So maybe you guys are very honest to one another. Okay. So that's what I got for Scorpio and Capricorn. Let's do Scorpio and Aquarius. What's the energy coming towards you guys for... Hold on. A bit. What's the energy coming towards you guys for the beginning to mid... Um, December. I'm going to say September. December. Okay. Scorpio and Aquarius. Let's see. Scorpio and we have the world card, so that's a great start. You guys are probably getting serious with one another. Um, if you're single and you're and you're dating someone who's an Aquarius, you guys feel like you are heading you are heading down a new phase. Um, there's a lot of strong feelings towards one another. Um, if you guys are already together, there's going to be a new life, possibly um a new life, as in you're creating a a, a baby or something, or you're creating something together. It's like a rebirth. Um, you're attracting a lot of abundance together as well. That's what I got for Scorpio and Aquarius. Let's do Scorpio and Pisces. Okay. Scorpio and Pisces. Right. Scorpio and Pisces. And I'm going to get the cards that flipped over. Okay. We have the strategy card here in reverse. Hmm. Damn. The magician and the mirror card in reverse, and then we have the walking away. So, um, yeah, you guys, things did not go as planned. Clearly, you guys had a plan before, but someone is not following through, or you guys just aren't looking good as a team. Um, the magic and the spark that you two had once before is just not there. You feel as though there is absolutely nothing that could make the two of you work. And one of you is definitely thinking about walking away from the situation because it's just not clicking. This is for Scorpio and Pisces. That's for Scorpio and Aries. Scorpio and Aries, how do you guys feel about one another? Um, and what is the energy coming towards you guys from the beginning to mid-December? Um, okay. Beginning to mid-December. What do we have here? Ooh, check. The third chakra archangel, Samuel, okay? So you guys have a glow with you two. You guys are very motivating towards one another. You guys come up with great ideas together. You're creative together. It's just you guys are very powerful together. Um, the world seems to be in your hands. And whenever you go after things, it's like the strongest spark between you two is going after whatever it is together and turning a negative into a positive. So you guys have this glow there's definitely a glow up energy. Maybe you guys feel as old compared to the last relationship. It's it's way better. Okay. Scorpio and Taurus. How do you guys feel about one another? And what is this energy coming towards you guys for the beginning to mid December? Okay. Getting to damn. Wait, hold up. Okay, yeah. Got two cards here. We have the contract card. So you guys, we have indecision. You guys probably came to an agreement or you guys probably agreed to something, possibly a commitment or some situation where you guys have finally made a decision. You guys came together and signed an agreement, um, maybe signed on to a business together. Maybe you guys, someone co-signed the other when it comes to getting a car or maybe you guys just agreed to start a commitment or date or whatever the case may be. But there's someone um, between you and your person, Scorpio, you or Taurus, who is kind of like they're unsure of the decision that they made. They're wondering if they made the right decision. 
okay? Scorpio and Gemini, how do you guys feel about one another? What's the overall energy for Gemini and Scorpio in for um, December to, I'm sorry, from early December to um, mid-December? What is the overall energy for Scorpio and Gemini, okay? Broken heart in reverse. The garden and the garden and the gate. So, you guys are getting over a heartbreak right now between you, Scorpio, and Gemini. You guys are getting over a heartbreak, or you're getting over this particular person. You feel as though it's coming to an end. You guys are deciding to separate from one another because you feel like your safe space right now is being alone. You don't feel safe with this person. You don't feel like you guys belong together at the moment. So the best thing you think for you to do is to be alone rather than put yourself in a situation where you could get hurt. So you feel you feel safer alone, okay? Scorpio and Cancer, how do you guys feel about one another? What is the energy coming towards you from the beginning to mid-December? Okay. Let me get the chance to get this right, chat. <laughs> okay. Scorpio and Cancer. Okay. Damn, we did all of that. The broken heart in reverse. You guys are getting over that heartbreak as well. Um, someone hurt you pretty badly, so they disappointed you, of course. This was someone who you saw a future with, but for some reason, it just did not work out. It was unexpected, and you're finally, you're getting to that point where you're accepting it. You no longer feel as though you're, you're not questioning why you guys weren't together anymore. You're taking that step forward, and you feel as though you're finally able to move on, and you're probably, if you're single, it's a possibility that you're finally able to, you finally want to start dating other people, Okay. Um, Scorpio and Leo, how do you guys feel about one another? What is the overall energy between you, Scorpio and Leo? What is the energy coming towards your way for the descent from the beginning to mid-December? We have the Temple Path card in reverse. Mm. So you guys, this does not... <laughs> You guys no longer believe in a situation. You guys no longer believe in each other. There's a possibility that you canceled a wedding or there was a routine or a traditional thing that you guys probably did together and you guys stopped doing that. Um, there's like a broken tradition and broken promises and there's like a bro broken commitment, meaning that it was something that you guys... It was a possible religion or a spiritual connection. It was a deep connection, deeper than the surface between you two. But for some reason, it's not the same anymore. You guys do not have that deep spiritual thing about you guys anymore. Um, you just feel like you guys don't want to go through with it. It was a, it was deep at first, but now that you realize the truth and the clarity had came about, you guys kind of feel like you dodged a bullet. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Um, child, what did I just do? Um, Scorpio and Virgo. We're on to Scorpio and Virgo. And then we got Libra after that. And then Libra. Okay. Scorpio and uh, Virgo. What is the overall energy for you guys? What is the energy coming towards you? And for the beginning to mid-December. Scorpio and Virgo. Okay. Scorpio and Virgo. We got the community card in reverse. Okay. So... Scorpio and Virgo, you guys, <laughs> it seems as if you guys don't want to be social with anybody right now. All you do is want to be around each other. You probably don't trust your circle. So there's a possibility that Scorpio and Virgo, maybe Scorpio, you don't trust the Virgo's friends or the people that they hang with or vice versa. Maybe the Virgo doesn't trust, trust your particular friend, Scorpio, and they just, a lot of the times they want you to themselves because they feel as though these particular friends or this event or whatever the case may be is it's not a good outcome it's not a good look okay scorpio and libra that is the last one right yes scorpio and libra what is the overall energy between you two 
what is the up uh what is the upcoming energy what is the energy coming towards you guys for the beginning to mid december for scorpio and libra okay just come on up why don't you you got the thinking man here and then you have the sun card in reverse so, Scorpio, it seems to me that there's someone um, between the both of you who feel like they have a lot of growing to do. They feel as though they're taking accountability for wanting to know more, wanting to learn more, okay? Um, they're willing to be taught. They're, really they're willing to listen, and they're willing to think twice. So, whatever situation that happened, there's a dark side of this situation. Whatever it was, it's possibility that you, Scorpio, or Libra experienced something that let that put them on the dark side. They don't see the light in the situation, and things were very dull, possibly depression. And because of this, they've decided to, you know, rethink the situation, think more logically. This card also represents um, there could be a man in this person's life, whether your life, Scorpio, or their lives, who is kind of trying to guide them the right way, okay, and teach them the right way and teach them new things. So this is all about growth and this is about owning up to your mistakes for Scorpio and Libra. That is what I got for you guys this reading Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If it resonated with you guys, that's great. That's perfect. If it did not, just take what did and leave the rest behind. Um, make sure you subscribe to the video if you haven't already. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every subscriber each and every view and each and every like all of that good stuff comments whatever you guys know i appreciate them all um i'm sending you guys lots of positive energy scorpios i wish you guys the absolute best and i will see you guys in the next one okay bye you got my number don't ask me cause baby i'm on hiatus i'm on hiatus